bottom left-hand corner of Metropolis. It is from Team Prime, our blue Protoss player, Creator. Spawning up here in the top right-hand corner from Team SCV Life, our red Zerg player, it is Yun. Oh, that was, that was just mighty creepy. I know. Well, he's a mighty creepy... I mean, he's Zerg, first off, so he's just creepy in general. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, sorry, I just had to do that. Joke. Hey, man, oh. Zergs, Zergs. I, 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 no unit burrows. Let's just say that. And anything that lives underground, except dwarves. I like dwarves. Well, nerds live underground. Okay. In their All right. Basement, right? right? In in certain respects, okay. Right. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm a nerd, so I don't know. I take a little bit of offense to that. Actually, hey, man, I'm a nerd. I like too. pride myself on a nerd. Like uh, you guys may have noticed, I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay. Hey, All right. I'm wearing my glasses. Honestly, glasses. they were just yeah. Like I, I, Doing it live. I look. I wore glasses when they were cool and nobody was wearing glasses, but now Everybody every nerd's wearing yeah, glasses, right. and I'm like, ah, I gotta come up with something else. Like it's just too much. But I'll, I will tell you, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the fact that it was a great filtering mechanism. You could go out to like a nice, a nice. You go uh, go out to like the bar, right? And you know, talk to some girl, and she won't even talk to you. If you've got nerd glasses on, if that's just gonna like, if it's just an just, off right away, and so I don't have to waste my time. That's you know? just that's just great for those nights when so you clear. just want to go out and dance. I mean, that's just right. Like you get it. Like just yeah. from the fact that I'm wearing glasses, you know that I'm a nerd. Yeah, exactly. There's no there's no beating around the bush. There's no misunderstanding here. Things are Though clear. I have tried, I'm a StarCraft two commentator as a line at a bar. Doesn't really work out too well. Wait, what? I'm a StarCraft two commentator at a bar as a line. Doesn't really? work out too well. Really? Really? I think yeah. that would work great. You're not talking to the right. You're not going to the right bars. Uh, maybe I just together. don't have the confidence, but you do, Kibbles. But uh, anyway, guys. Next is first. I, oh no! Excuse no, me. There's a forge yeah, down. Forge came down. So forge. I'm so man. engrossed in this conversation. <laughs> we're talking about women, nerds, and glasses and bars. Hey like, man, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> everything happens, except it all gets streamed. So you guys will know about it. Yeah, what happens in Vegas is broadcasted live on the air. <laughs> But uh, yeah, TSL Hyun did go for the uh, pool first and then going for the hatch, which is, you know, for a while was pretty much the very, very standard. But we've gone back to Zergs being a little bit risky going back for the hatch first. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we're you know, probably going to see some pretty uh, macro-oriented games on this, uh, this map because there are the two large but two choke points that pretty much defend all of those bases, five bases in total which make it very easy for both the players to pretty much just sit back and get up to their end game armies very quickly. Probe is going to be a little bit caught here, but you are completely right. This is uh, one of the largest two-player maps like in existence right now. Um, Atlanta Spaceship is a little bit bigger, but uh, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Now, these guys are in close by air positions, but that can only be said for so much. I mean, it's not close at all. It's very, very far. And, uh, you know, the warp in mechanic only does so much. If you go for a big timing attack and then your opponent kills your pylons, I mean, you are S-O-L, buddy, so... Um, exactly, and that's why, you know, um, this is yet another map where sh um, air actually comes in pretty well. Um, allows you to get to a little bit of, uh, of an advantage. Ooh, a little bit of pause going on right now. All right, so just a moment for these players. Um, but I, I, I don't think we're going to see air this game, Kevin. You don't think so? No. Uh, I think it's probably going to be more uh, a... Uh, a, a play style that's either very macro based or a standard two uh, mortal two base immortal century. Because uh, yeah. that one was just so tricky. All right, guys, countdown's back. I Let's love go. how they did all this by themselves. We yeah. didn't have to do anything. We didn't nope. have to do the. Yeah, sure, you can unpause or anything. That's, that was great. Well, it was because, I mean, Creator is so mannered, he did a countdown. So oh, yes, yes. Incredible. You can't just unpause. It's like. You can't just unpause. No, man. Nobody does that anymore. No. Chef uh, set a precedent and it followed suit forever. And, you know, I was talking about this on the other stream. I'd really like to know what a statistic of how many neutral supply depots are killed in this tournament. Okay. All right. Just because, you know, I feel so bad for the neutral supply depot. I don't area. know why you would feel bad for it, but hey, man. Some people like stats, so okay, I can honor that. If you guys if you guys really want a stat on that, you know, I work at IPL. I can make that happen, so. Make it happen. Just, well, I mean, there needs to be a demand for it. I'm no, not going to no, spend no. three hours no, just, just counting shim every neutral. Just shim That's way more that. than three hours. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll do it for you, buddy. I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, please do. We used to cast to play him. I thought that meant something. We go way back. <laughs> play him, another sponsor, of course, of IPL5. Oh, yeah. Were they on that list? Yes, they are. Okay. Good. Of course. I mean... I want to overlay the list right now over the game. The casters are from play him. Um, so this map, by the way, is like fantastically gorgeous um, while we are... Our Yes. Waiting for this game to develop. Gas is going down for Hyun, but nothing else uh, major other than that. And Creator Prime... 
Let's take a look. Two gases. So he's not going for the Immortal Sentry play. Um, it could be a plus one four gate. It actually looks like it is. That's exactly what it's going to be. With the Twilight Council. <laughs> so uh, the Twilight Council into Robo, he actually could go. Oh, this is like pretty interesting. This is actually really interesting. Um, we started to pump out a couple, of, uh, at least a stalker. So this might be just going straight on blink. into uh, yeah, a nice little blink play. Yeah, uh, I'd like to see the Robo facility go down as soon as those gateways do finish up, though. Actually, that's totally what this is. So as soon as that goes up, you know, you can start getting those observers blinking up and down. And that's really nice yep. on this map because there are a lot of ledges between the first uh, natural and third bases. This is so interesting. So this attack hits around 10 minutes. Um, you can see, well, he hasn't been chrono boosting this quite enough, but uh, it will, there we go. Um, it will be plus, and he's like, oh, uh, uh, it's not done. Here are the extra gateways. Right. Big two base play coming out of Creator Prime, and he needs to scout this. Um, it's actually really easy to handle. As long as you have two things, speed, which he is going to have. Uh, it's going to be close, but he'll have it. And uh, Infestors. Infest Infestor and speed makes this the easiest attack to hold off in the world, Kevin. Well, Lair is just about to finish up, so we'll have to watch if he's going to throw down an Infestation Pit in response, if he knows exactly what's going on here. Now, uh, his Overlord has not done any type of diving just yet, looking at the vision probably for Hyun. No, he does not know this is on the way. Um, he is a little bit in the dark uh, for now. But yeah. Time will tell, especially with the scouting Zerglings moving around the map and the Zelnaga Towers are going to lit, uh, you know, lit up those uh, little stalkers moving across the map. So it's going to be a nice little telltale sign, and hopefully he'll get that infestation pit out, but we're not seeing it come out just yet. He's actually getting roach speed and plus one at range weapons. Yeah, this is going to be a very powerful attack out of Creator Prime. Hyun is going to need a lot in order to hold it. He is uh, queuing up another eight roaches right now. Speed is still a little ways away here, but as we said, you know, it should be done in time. Blink is just finishing, and this attack is going to commence. It could actually really catch Creator off guard if he blinks into this army and then is instantly surrounded. And speed is done, and these stalkers are going to be in substantially more danger. So now Hyun should, or uh, excuse me, Creator should wait a second here. Uh, and yeah, no, next round of stalkers is going to come in, and here comes the push. Oh, and here comes all those Zerglings. Do get a couple of good surrounds on those Stalkers. Now, they will be blinking away. A couple of those Stalkers are pretty hurt, but actually doing some pretty cost-efficient trades here. One of them is down to one health. Does blink away there. And uh, keeping those Stalkers alive, even though they're hurt, it's just the more damage you can possibly do to the Zerg ball whenever you get into those engagements. So we have more and more. <laughs> and a little pro bringing some gas along just in case. It really looked like that Stalker was actually bringing gas. Hyun has a ton of units, guys. Uh, he's going to be stringing him in now. Roaches, not with plus one, not with Gleal quite yet. Creator doing everything he can to blink micro away. We'll see if he fall decides to fall back. No, Hyun is just engaging this face first. And uh, you can see the Stalkers, a lot of them getting pretty low. Speedlink's going to be coming to reinforce as well. Does Creator have enough to crack Hyun right here? It looks like actually as soon as Hyun does finish up their Roach speed, it doesn't look like it's going to be in time oh, to man. save this engagement. Creator Prime pushing in once again, does take out another Roach on the way, but here's a whole bunch of Overlords that are caught out of position, and this is going to throw uh, TSL Hyun into the red in food supply, and that is going to be a little bit indicative of him losing his third base. Uh, Hyun is in so much trouble right now, Sham2. Uh, I mean, engaging with those Roaches before oh, plus one. Forward. Oh, he's going to do so much damage right now. Now, he doesn't have the blink ability to micro, so these drones off the line are actually making a huge difference. Cleo Reconstitution is done right now as well, and uh, all of a sudden, Creator in a full-fledged retreat that blink in just costing Creator so much. A little bit of a too courageous move there by uh, Creator Prime, and that is going to be... A That's it. That's it for that push yep. for now. Um, he doesn't have a third base on the way either, but neither does Hyun have a fourth base immediately. It was a ballsy blink coming that out of Creator there. An incredibly ballsy and blink. And it ended up costing him. Yeah, he surrounded the Roaches, but with the oh drones no, there, it wasn't enough. Another surround from the Roaches. He actually might be able to clean up the rest of these Stalkers and start putting a little bit of pressure more onto Creator Prime. Yep. I mean, and this is a two base all in, Kevin. Oh, you, yeah. there's, there's no transitioning out of it. What is he on? Eight gates? Oh, and there it is. The GG. Yeah. There's the GG. Creator Prime with a very, very strong attack, but unfortunately he just got a little bit too overeager and uh, blinked right on in. Those drones really made yeah. the difference. The I mean, drones. he was looking great, but yeah. 
when it's it's not the the drones like doing damage as much as it is the drones distracting fire so all of a sudden roaches with glial with plus one speedlings as well are now you know surrounding all of his units and doing tons of damage and the stalkers are busy killing drones yeah. which Hyun doesn't really need at this point he's i mean as so long economically as long, ahead exactly as long as you hold off that push it doesn't matter exactly. what it takes no matter the cost the starcraft 2 yeah. theme song actually <laughs> i didn't know that yeah you said you're a nerd. Um, <laughs> no matter the cost, he needs to keep those uh, his forces alive. And if the drones are the things that he has to sacrifice, so be it. All right, folks. Well, we will be moving into game number three, actually, in just a second. The map is going to be Ohana.